Hey Matt, why have you got that look on your face? Because my mom has told me off. Why? Do you remember yesterday's storm? Oh yes, it was terrible! Many branches fell off the trees on my street, and one of them cut an electric wire. And why did your mom tell you off? Because we were walking down the street, and I saw a wire on the floor, so I ran to pick it up to show it to my mom. Just before I touched it, she shouted so loudly that I was stunned. The wire could have transferred electricity to you. You're so absent-minded, Matt. Don't you remember what the teacher told us some time ago when we were talking about the electricity? Please, there was an outage today in the playground. It was an outage, Matt. Only a light bulb went. What happens when there's an electricity outage? That's an interesting question. Let's all think first what electricity is. Can any of you tell me what electricity is? It's something that flows inside the wires. Okay, but electricity doesn't only flow through the wires. There are also other materials that allow electricity to flow through. That is, materials which allow electricity to flow easily. That's why they are called good conductors. There are good conductors and poor conductors. Poor conductors are those that don't allow electricity to flow or only allow a little. Are wires good or poor conductors? Wires are used to connect electrical devices to the electricity that comes from the street. If you examine a wire, you'll see it has metallic threads inside, wrapped by a rubber or plastic cover. Are the wires in the street similar to those we have at home? The wires in the street are prepared for a lot of electric current to flow through them. Think that those wires supply whole neighborhoods with electricity. But both wires in the street and those in our homes contain a good conductor material inside, through which electricity flows, and a material that doesn't conduct electricity, the rubber part on the outside. And the rubber they have doesn't allow electricity to escape? That's it, because rubber and plastic don't conduct electricity and therefore Electricity has no option but flowing through the metal conductor that is inside the wire. That's why the rubber covering the wires is called an insulator, because it keeps electricity inside the wire and prevents it from escaping. What would happen if the rubber were not there? If the wires weren't covered by the insulator, electricity would escape through the sides and wouldn't reach our homes. Besides, it'd be very dangerous because anybody touching the wires would be electrocuted. Then our body is a conductor, because if we must be so careful with electricity, it's because our body can conduct electricity, isn't it? You're right, Matt. I hadn't thought about that before. So, to avoid any risk, we should be careful not to touch anything having electricity. Like sockets, wires without insulators, the inside of lamp sockets, or wires that have fallen after a storm on the street. That was really dangerous. We must be very careful with the electricity. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!